up guys so today there is a national protest New Zealand wide and there are so many towns participating including my one so me and Tyke here are gonna go and participate in the bar cup and um, get a few clips of the protest so I hope you guys enjoy and this is what we saw Today, this is a peaceful protest, and so far, so good. You're looking amazing. I'm so impressed with the turnout. Uh, our marshals are, have gone around and are currently going around raising some money for the White King's Gumboot Day. Please be generous. This is a really good cause. Mental health, particularly in the rural sector, is a major issue. Also, while we're in town, please support our local businesses. Grab a bite to eat, have a cup, cup, hot cuppa. Ladies, let's go shopping. <laughs> And guys, the florist is just down the road to the right. Yeah, or better still, the golf room is just around the corner that way. Go and get the lady, that's something special you know she deserves. <laughs> uh, I have a few thank yous before I read the groundswell statement. Firstly, Ron and Jackie Monk for being my initial sounding board for this whole thing and the support they gave, gave me to give me the courage to actually get off my butt and do this. Uh, Bruce Smith. Lots of promotion that he's done, and he's totally on board. He's really good, and he can't be here today, but um, he probably has stolen the mic from me by now. Uh, Bernie Preston, a big thank you for covering the cost of our newspaper ad. Hopefully, most of you saw that. Uh, Stu Marshall has donated us a road sign space um, just on his property up um, in the uh, heading up to Pogatai there, and there'll be a sign going up there soon, which has been very generous sponsored by Henry Adams, Service Cartage, Evan Birchfield, Westland Dairy Sheds and Peter and Karen O'Reilly. Watch this space, it's happening soon, so thank you so much guys. This is going to be an ongoing thing, so it's really neat having some coverage there. Uh, West Coast Vets, a huge thank you for printing the flyers that went out around the Kokodai Kurani area and also putting, putting them in your uh, mail statements. Uh, Nikki Von R, you've been a great help, you've done all sorts of bits and pieces for me. And Wesley Jones, huge thank you for organising the convoy. It was amazing seeing it come in. There's hopefully lots and lots of photos and I'm super impressed with how well it ran. Uh, thank you to our wonderful marshals, Anne, Charmaine, Nikki, JP, Mike, Graham, Tracy, Kay and Matthew. It certainly wouldn't be looking like this without you guys. And a huge, massive thank you to my amazing man, Graham McNabb, for supporting me, running around helping me picking up the slack on the farm and for being bulldozed into doing a video and for listening to me constantly banging on about this. 
And of course, a huge thank you for you guys for coming along on this wet, wet day and supporting this and sending this message to our government. So, here's the message. And I haven't read this much myself, but I only arrived to be saying. Following a turnout of 120 tractors and gore, Brownsville, New Zealand was formed. A meeting at Waimumu of 700 farmers gave Brownsville the confidence to go nationwide. The Otago and Southland farmers then joined forces with Canterbury-based Rural Advocacy Network with, speaking, with a speaking tour throughout Canterbury and West Coast. So, the enthusi so enthusiastic were the West Coasters that they immediately formed Groundswell West Coast. While the initial focus was on the freshwater regulations, Groundswell New Zealand quickly turned to the issue of significant natural areas or SNAs. As new legislation was due out this month. Our first major action was to call on all landowners to not allow any more SNA type surveys. A letter was sent to all councils requesting that they halt any current SNA mapping. The new legislation has now been delayed until later this year and many councils have halted their complete SNA processes. Groundswell's New Zealand's main concerns and focus of this protest are the unworkable environmental policies freshwater indigenous biodiversity, SNAs and climate change. However, in the past six months, we have become aware of many other issues and costs impacting not only farmers, but businesses, urban people and councils. Everyone is feeling overwhelmed with the avalanche of poorly designed policies and the we know best one size fits all current government. Groundswell New Zealand are keen to promote workable solutions and our leaders are at the forefront of environmental action. Bryce McKenzie is a founding member of the award-winning Pomahaka Water Care Group and is, the blueprint, uh, and is a blueprint for the future of empowering community and landowner action to address water quality issues. Fellow HAL organiser Jamie McFadden is a leader in the conservation effort in Canterbury, helping hundreds of landowners over the past 20 years to restore and protect native bush, wetlands and streams. From this experience, we know that there are far superior solutions to achieving positive environmental outcomes than the current unworkable regulations. This has been organised in the spirit of cooperation, non-confrontation and no intentional disruption, maybe apart from today. <laughs> we encourage people attending the HAL to support local businesses, engage with people in a positive way Groundswell New Zealand does not condone any actions that are contrary to our intentions. Special thanks to all the amazing protest organisers and volunteers. We applaud councils that are actively challenging the government on behalf of the communities and those that have agreed to request to hold the SNA process. Special mention of Grey Mayor District, uh, Grey District Mayor Tanya Gibson, who has openly supported our Groundswell campaign and has set a high bar of courage and leadership. We challenge all leaders and councillors to step up on behalf of their communities. Enough is enough. Unworkable freshwater regulations, enough is enough. SNAs, penalising conservation-minded landowners, enough is enough. Over the top, one size fits all state control, enough is enough. No respect for people, their privacy and property information. Enough is enough. Overseas corporates buying up New Zealand farmland to offset emissions. Enough is enough. Taxes on essential work vehicles. Enough is enough. Out of control costs crippling small businesses. Enough is enough. An unprecedented mental strain on people. Enough is enough. Groundswell New Zealand has put a stake in the ground and said enough is enough. Groundswell New Zealand are calling for a halt to all environmental regulations including freshwater, indigenous biodiversity, SNAs, climate change, high country legislation and remove the ute tax. If in one month's time, 16th of August, we have not seen sufficient moves by the government to address our concerns, we will be undertaking further actions.
gone that way. <laughs>